Hey guys, welcome back to Animu. Today I'm going to do a really quick tutorial to show you how to liven up photographs by adding animations to them in Flash. This was actually a request that I got from GB Chewed after watching my How to Animate Fireworks in Flash tutorial. So I'm actually going to go back and use those animations that I created for that tutorial in today's. If you haven't already seen that, please do take a look at the video below. I've just dropped it in there so you can find it really easily. And um, yeah, I'm in today's file now, so if I export the timeline, I'll just show you what it is that we're making. So here you go, I've got um, an old photograph here. This is me and my brother in Disney World quite a few years ago. And I've just dropped those firework animations into the sky to kind of bring it to life. It's really fun and easy to do. So I'll show you how we do this. If we go back to Flash, all you want to do is start a new file and create a layer to hold your photograph. So I've just popped mine here. And then in the layer above your photograph, you want to create one for your animations. So this is my animation here. You can pop any animations in that you like, but again, I'm just going to use these firework ones that I did before. And if I run that through the timeline, just play it through the timeline, you'll see that it fits really nicely into my sky. It doesn't come in the way of anybody in the picture, which is good. If it did, then I could avoid that by going back and duplicating my photograph layer, um, pasting it into a foreground layer right at the top, and then erasing any spaces where I wanted the animations to play through. So in this case it would be the sky I've just erased here. Again, I don't need it for this one because my animations aren't coming in the way, so I've just set this to a guideline. I'm sorry, to a guide layer. But um, this is how, how you could do that, so you could avoid that overlapping. Um, the only other thing that I've done is on my animation movie clip, um, I've just added an alpha effect to kind of push it back into the sky a little bit and help it blend with the photograph. Now, depending on the picture that you're using and the animations that you're dropping in, you might want to add um, different effects. So just whatever feels right for your composition. Um, so yeah, if I export this again, this is the finished product. It works really well with photographs and videos. It's exactly the same principle, only videos are a little trickier because they actually move around. So you've got to think about how they're going to interact with your animations and you might need to go into individual frames and set um, masking or add some kind of visual barrier to stop that overlapping. But yeah, this is how you um, bring photographs to life by adding animations to them in Flash. I hope that you found this tutorial um, interesting and helpful. If you have done them, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any ideas for tutorials that you'd like me to make, then do get in touch and I will make those as quickly as I can. So yeah, thank you for watching my video and I'll speak to you guys later. Bye.